Hi there, music students. For today's lesson, you're going to need, preferably, a piece of paper all scrunched up, or if you can't find one, maybe a grocery bag that's all squished up. And then please ask your mom or your dad first. You might need a pot and then use a wooden spoon or a plastic spoon. You don't want metal on metal. While you're going and asking for permission and finding those things, please put it on pause and I'll wait for you. Oh, I'm so glad you're back. Would you take out two fingers and then your hand, and would you just go short, short, long, short, short, long, and on your long, make sure you extend your arm. Ready, follow me, and go. Now would you switch it? Long, short, short, long, short, short. Ready, set, and here you go. Now, would you take out your piece of paper, hopefully, or a garbage sack, or one of the little grocery sacks, or you can use an imaginary pretend one. You're going to take your hands, and you're going to follow the music like this. Short, short, long, short, short, long, short, short, long, and maybe you'll get a little help if you've got a friend. Ready, set, and here you go. Short, short, long, short, short, short. Switch it long, short, short, long, short, short. Fantastic. I'm going to stop. And when I stop, would you do the opposite? Like this. If I'm playing short, short, long, short, short, long, long, short, short, long, short, short. Piano comes back in, you go back to short, short, long. Got it? Ready, set, and to hear you follow. Go! Long, short, short, long. Now, if you can get, put the paper aside, if you can get out your pot or pan and then take your wooden spoon, remember, no metal on metal, this is going to be short, short, long, short, short, long, short, short, long, short, short, long. Same thing, would you follow me? Ready, set, and a here we play. Long, short, short, long, short. Long, short, short, long, short, short. What we call that, if you'll do the short, short, long, instead of saying that, would you say, and a pest, and a pest, ready, set, and a here you go, and a pest, and a pest. Do it long, short, short, long, short, short, long, short, short. That's going to be a big fancy word called dactylic. Dactylic, 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 dactylic. So just to review short, short, long is an pest, and long, short, short, long, short, short is dactylic. Dactylic, dactylic. Fantastic. Let's put that aside. Do you remember how we conducted in four? We can get down on the floor for this. We're going to go one, two, three, four. Let's all try it. So arms up. Here you go. One, two, three, four. Let's put an anapest on four, three, two, one. I'll show you what I mean. Ready, set, and here I go. One, two, three, and a pest. One, two, and a pest. Four, one, 
Anna pass three, four. Anna pass two, three, four. Would you try that? Ready, set with the music. Go. Anna, one, two, three. Anna pass four. Anna pass four. Anna pass four. Anna pass four. That was fantastic. Now let's switch it. Dactylic. So it'll be one, two, three. Dactylic. One, two, dactylic. Four, dactylic. Three. Dactylic two, three, four. Ready, set, and here you go. I'm so glad you were saying dactylic and anapest with all those fantastic things. We use these words of short, short, long, and long, short, short. They're patterns in music, but they're also patterns in speech, which people use all the time. Here's a little poem. It's not the best in the world, but the anapest is the short, short, long, and the dactylic's the long, short, short. Big mean beast ate fishy, had a feast in tummy. Not the best poem in the world, but it shows long, short, short. Here's another one that's dactylic, anapest, dactylic, anapest. Long, short, 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 long, long, short, 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 long. Makes a nice little rhythm. So it goes like this. Joe running very fast fell on his elbow. Yikes. So there's one. You can really mix them up. Here's an anapest, anapest, dactylic, dactylic, a whole new pattern. Mary Lou fell in glue. Her shoe is stuck. Now what? So there you go. You can have poems all over the place. Now, when we use in music, we can use them like this. Remember, we are going to call these one, two things, three of them. Now, an anapest, you want to be real careful, is straight. Anapest, 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 anapest. Uh, three of them, three of them, three of them, three of them, three of them. The three of them's more circular, the anapest is up and down. Ready, so you don't want to confuse them. Ready, go. One, one, anapest, one. Two things, two things, two things, anapest. Three of them, anapest, three of them, anapest, one. Two things, anapest, one. So that's how that goes, and this is what it looks like in music. Ready, go. One, one, anapest, one. Two things, two things, two things, anapest. Three of them, anapest, three of them, anapest. One, two things, anapest, one. Now, to let you in on a secret, if we did it backwards, these become dac dactylic. Dactylic. So it becomes long, short, short. Ready, backwards, uh, here we go. One, dactylic, two things, one. Dactylic, three of them, dactylic, three of them. Dactylic, two things, two things, two things, one. Dactylic, one, one. And then when you get in music, it's not just those little anapests. Anapests can be everywhere. Now you have to start seeing patterns in music. This whole thing is nothing but anapest and dactylics. Do you see the pattern? Short, short, long. Oh, there's another one. Uh-oh. Short, short, long. Here's a really long one. Short, short, long. So when you start seeing them in groups, in threes, then you can really get it. Let's try this one. Ready, set, and uh, here you go. Anapest, 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 anapest. Anapest, 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 anapest. And then you know you can do it backwards, and those are dactylics. Let's try it. Ready, go. Dactylic, 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 dactylic. Dactylic, 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 dactylic.
Tillich, Dak, Tillich. So there you have it in all sorts of music. Your assignment that you're going to have to do next is fill out the form and just tell me if you think it's anapest, anapest, and dactylic, dactylic, and see if the words rhyme up. I'm going to let you listen to some music too. One's in the Hall of the Mountain King, and it's filled with anapest all over the place. It goes like this. Anapest, anapest, anapest. Another one's by Beethoven. You'll have to turn your sound up. And it's all dactylic, but then it has what's called spawn day, which are two long ones. It goes like this. Dactylic spawn day. Have a wonderful week, and we'll see you next week when we learn about the iambic and the tribrachic.